Hey everyone, Green Ad Guide here. Today's episode is going to be short and it's gonna be a little bit meta. Instead of talking about caffeine or energy drinks, I'm going to be talking about my favorite ways to get stuff done in less time. Usually people drink caffeine to get stuff done, right? So today I'm gonna to be talking about some of the other things that I do to get more stuff done in less time. Ready? Here we go. Tip number one, I listen to my podcast on speed. Usually I listen to them about 1.2 or 1.5. If I'm not familiar with their podcaster or the format, then putting it at a greater speed than 1.5, like two or four or eight, makes it hard to understand what's happening. Maybe if I'm listening to my own podcast and I'm scanning, trying to find the best clip to put on social media, maybe I'll listen to it at a much greater speed, like, you know, four times or eight times or whatever. But if I'm just listening to a news podcast or some of the other podcasts I listen to, it's usually a minimum of 1.2. This means that I get to listen to more podcast content in less time, which is great because my commute these days is really short. So that's tip number one. Wherever you listen to your podcast, whether it's desktop or mobile, usually the place where you can adjust the speed is somewhere near the play or the rewind or the fast forward button. Here's a few screenshots of different platforms. Tip number two, I also listen to audiobooks on speed. Some of the authors that I've liked, like, um, gosh, what's his name? Chris Hadford, I think. His autobiography about, uh, I think it's An Astronaut's Guide to Life in Space or something. The way that he talks is very much like the way I talk. He's a scientist, so he talks in very measured, slow, you know, carefully thought out sentences. He speaks in bullet points like me. And so sometimes you can hear him thinking through things and it can be a little bit choppy to listen to at normal speed. But if you speed it up to 1.2, it sounds much more like a normal person. So I recommend listening to your audiobooks on speed too. And it's the same principle. Um, usually the place where you adjust the speed is somewhere near the play button. Here's a screenshot of what it looks like on my phone. I have an Android. Tip number three. For YouTube videos, I have two different tricks here. So the first one, tip number three, is yes, I listen to my YouTube videos on speed too. Here's a screenshot of where you go to adjust that speed. So I love Caffeine Man. I want to support Caffeine Man, but I don't always have time to get through a full episode. So I will go and I will adjust the speed of the episode so that I get through more of the content in less time. That's tip number three. Tip number four is another trick for YouTube videos. There is a YouTube um, series that I watch every Friday because they cover Easter eggs in a certain show that I'm watching right now, but there's this annoying long string of ads right in the middle of the episode. So I go through the transcripts and I can see where the ad ends and the content begins. Here's a screenshot of where you go to open the transcript. So this helps me in one of two ways. One, I can read through the text and see, is this video worth watching? Where do I want to start watching? And then whatever word you click, the YouTube video will skip to that part of the episode. This is also helpful if someone sends me an, an, uh, a YouTube episode about energy drinks and caffeine, and I have a suspicion it's just going to be like lies and BS, and it's a 40 minute episode. So what I can do is I can open the transcript, read through it real quick, see if it's worth my time, see if there's actually anything valuable, and I can episode. do that really, really quickly instead of sitting through the whole uh, episode or dragging like the thumbnail to see if I could see, you know, what part of the episode I care about. Just open the transcript, read through it real quick, and find what I'm looking for. And you can use control find for certain words and it will highlight certain words in that transcript. This is super helpful for YouTube videos that I've never seen before, as well as my own YouTube videos. If I know that I've talked about something like energy drink bans in the past, what I can do is go to my own YouTube video, open the transcript, control find, find the keyword that I'm looking for, and I can even export that transcript and turn it into a blog post or a social media post elsewhere. So it's super helpful, and I don't know if everybody knows that you can do that with YouTube transcripts. So 
Those are my four tips. Listen to podcasts on speed, listen to audiobooks on speed, listen to YouTube on speed, and then use the transcript. Using the transcript is the only thing of all of those that you can't do on your phone. You have to do it on your desktop or your laptop. But all of those other things, all of the other you know tips to listen to stuff on speed, you could do on your laptop or, uh, or your mobile device, whether you're Android or iPhone. If you would like more content from Green Eye Guide, don't forget to subscribe to the Caffeine at Midnight podcast, available wherever you get your podcasts. I hope this episode was helpful. Till then, till next time, take care.